Okay. <laughs> well, it started on the second try, which is a good thing. Didn't sound like I wanted to, but hey, that's okay. Engine sounds good. It's the first time I'm flying since October. Let's hope I remember how. Let's also hope that the cameras stay running. The camera behind me here is uh, a little funky. And it's also the one with the uh, audio. Let's see if I got the right frequency. There we go. Eight, uh, it was. Zulu. Wind variable at zero three. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one seven Celsius. Dew point zero three Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero six. Remarks. Density altitude one thousand seven hundred. Let's turn this thing off for kicks. Memorial Airport. Automated weather observation. One eight two zero Zulu. Wind variable at zero three. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one seven Celsius. Dew point zero three Celsius. Have enough of that. Okay, so this is the first time I'm flying since October. Um, I actually do remember how I have in the back seat my two new puppies who have no idea what's going on. We're going to do a quick flight uh, into town uh, as far as the confluence, come back, get fuel, and then go to my summer LZ. Uh, so I might make this into two videos or I might make it into one. Depends how long it is. People don't have very long attention spans. Just finishing uh, the warm-up now. All my gauges are green. I'm going to do a mag check. Bring it up to about 75%. One mag sounds good. Very little drop. Two mags sounds good. Needle split, that's good. Ah, it sounds like it wants to go. I do too. This is a perfect day for flying. There's hardly any wind. It's a beautiful sunny day. Again, I'm just hoping that my uh, cameras don't crap out on me. There's nothing I hate more than doing a flight for the uh, channel and then having it not work out. I've got to turn on my voice. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, boy. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, there's the rubber bands. I knew I had rubber bands in here. Yeah, this is a high-tech holding tool there. I should actually push this pointing backwards. Okay, there we go. Real high tech. Okay, so we're ready to go. Well, that's your traffic helicopter 7534 Delta over by the fire cache. It will be uh, departing out towards uh, the river. And yes, I know the carbon monoxide. Traffic two maintenance vehicles holding short of one two at Charlie. I'll traffic near you five minutes. And when at you traffic maintenance vehicles, I will pass behind you. I see you. Uh, yes, sir. When at you traffic ground maintenance vehicles crossing one two from Charlie Apple four. No factor for a helicopter outgoing. Yeah, what happens is on this aircraft, the uh, carbon monoxide detector is really uh, very uh, sensitive. And if I sit idling and the wind, a little breeze blows up my helicopter's butt, I get that light on. It'll go out in a few minutes. Are clear. One, two, three, zero. I got the vents open. I can open up my side vent, too. So I'm not worried about uh, CO2 poisoning. It will uh, definitely go out. So you don't have to comment on it. All right. Let's see. This is my usual departure route. That's wide open. Wow, they have been building a ton of homes out here. Nice area traffic scene is 677 Whiskey Hotel. Over the south end of town, the train yard, going to enter in 45, so that's traffic 301 Ashley. 
Hey, Wenatchee traffic helicopters, 3-4 Delta just left uh, Wenatchee, and we are uh, south of the airport. Uh, we'll be flying up the river, probably around 1,500 feet. There's the Columbia River here. They just reopened it recently for fishing. Water's really high. It's been pretty warm lately. A lot of snow melt from the mountains. Washington State still in, I believe, partial lockdown. I don't know, but nobody around here follows any rules. We got East Wenatchee on my right. We got Wenatchee or South Wenatchee here on my left. Wenatchee up ahead of us. These are the two, what we call the South End Bridges. They actually, uh, this one here has a name. It's named, uh, I think it's the George Steller Bridge. Uh, the other one's a walking bridge. And a pipeline. I'm interested to see how high the water level is up by the confluence. Just uh, coming up below us is the boat ramp where I usually put my boat in. They just did some fixing to it last uh, the end of last year. Not too many changes to it, but it's nice. Downtown Wenatchee. All the parks are pretty empty today. That's, I guess, good. Person on stand-up paddleboard. Another one of our parks down here. Lowe's parking lot is packed. Surprise, surprise. This is where I usually go paddling in here. This is the confluence of the Wenatchee River with the Columbia River. And this area in here is like an estuary. And right now it's perfect for paddling because it's really deep. A lot of little channels in there. You can paddle in there and then you can cross over and paddle on the other side. Oh, this is pretty hot. This is good, good for it. Some guys out there in kayaks. Cool. That's all I wanted to know. Now I'm going back. I'm going to top off with uh, fuel. That's the North End Bridge. The dam up there, I'm not sure if you can see it. The Rocky Reach Dam. Yeah, it went out. So, um, I don't know if it's that it's super sensitive or what the deal is with that light. I'm, gonna, I'm going for an annual in McMinnville on Monday and I'm gonna mention it to them, see if they can check it. Maybe they just need to change something out. Because I cannot imagine there being an issue with that. The emergency procedure if the light goes on is to open up all the vents, which I did. And uh, if it doesn't go out, you know, obviously land. Do what's going on. My dogs seem to be doing pretty well back there. They're both settled down. Uh, I've got two dogs now. I used to have just Penny, and you'll see her in a bunch of videos. If you see my videos of the little black dog, that's Penny. Uh, Penny, um, Penny died this winter. She was uh, unfortunately attacked by another dog, and she was killed. 
Um, and I don't talk about it really, so that's about all I'm going to say. But about a month and a half later, I was looking for more companionship, and I wound up with two um, Chorkies, I guess they are. They're um, Chihuahua and probably Yorkshire Terrier mix. They're, you know, rescues, so who knows what they really are. And they're puppies, uh, which is good and bad. <laughs> Not quite good yet, but hopefully it'll get good soon. And this is East Onati on the side, Balm's dead, looks like Sportsman's uh, Outfitter might be open. Uh, it's just, uh, but then there's uh, Fred Meyer in the super, uh, supermarket, the parking lot looks pretty full. Hobby Lobby must have opened, there's people in there now. So we're headed back to the airport. I'll get fuel, fill up both tanks, uh, let the dogs get out and stretch their legs a little. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get them back in. And then we will take off again and uh, fly over to my landing zone for the summer. Cherry season should be starting up in about two weeks. And I'm going to get an annual inspection done on the helicopter. It needs to be done every year. Hence the name annual. And uh, just looking for traffic here. And it unfortunately looks like it's going to rain on the way down and it's going to rain on the way back. So, got that to look forward to. Area traffic helicopter 34 Delta is about a half a mile to the south. They'll be crossing the uh, runway, landing at uh, General Aviation Fuel. Aircraft uh, in the pattern, where are you? So if you're looking for uh, 7 Whiskey Hotel, I've already landed. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I heard him out here, but a little high. There's the new fuel. Uh, 34 Delta's crossing the runway. I have not used this fuel depot yet, so this should be exciting. Not really exciting. What's exciting about getting fuel? Nothing's exciting. The chore. I don't like that they have parking so close to it, but... That looks good. And a nice gentle set down, and that's it. So, first uh, flight of the season. I forget, did forget how to fly, that's a good thing. My new dogs did not uh, puke, did not get upset, freak out, anything like that. That's good too, because they're coming on a two hour flight. So everything's good. Um, if you've been wondering where I've been, I've been traveling, I've been, uh, oh, I can make all kinds of excuses for you if you like. Um, hoping to do a live uh, video uh, this weekend. I hope you tune in. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, consider helping support the cost of flying this thing. Um, that little flight just cost me about, oh, about $200. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, helping to support this, um, please consider buying some merch. I got some nice t-shirts, I got hats. Um, I also still have uh, subscriptions up and running and uh, Patreon. So 
any support you can uh, offer, I really do appreciate it. And I tell you, it does motivate me to produce. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, see you again. Bye.